Good morning. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Sandangle Teacher. And today I'm just working on hearts for the next little while, so we have a bunch of hearts we can do Valentine's with. This one is Heart Strings by Helen Williams. And my goals for this year are to just introduce some ways you can change a tangle and kind of make it your own. And this is heart strings. I love it. It's a beautiful tangle. Fill in a space. But I've just changed a little bit. I'm going to work on this one and show you how I changed a little bit. I did it on a little bijou tile freehand. Did it on a little curve. Not so much. Not sure I like this one that much. But let's get started on Heartstrings by Helen Williams. And I'm just going to demo on a bookmark that you can get bookmarks on my website if you want. It's, they're kind of fun. We're going to start out with just some straight lines. And Helen, you need wanted you to have at least three straight lines. You can put more. Um, when I did this one, I had several. So we need just three lines. And then we're going to make our heart so that it's within this shape. And that's heartstring. The first, second step, I should say, on heartstring. And then we come back to the top, and this one was a little wonky, so we'll see if we can't straighten it out. But remember, there's no mistakes in Centangle. Then we do two lines that kind of bulge out around that line down the center. So they kind of just bulge out, come from there, bulge out, come back down in. And I do that step all the way down. That helps me be, have a more mindful tangle experience. Now I'm going to come back up and I'm going to echo the shape. I'm actually echoing the shape of the heart as many times as I think I can get it in there. So come from this point, echo up, back down in. So we have a little build up of ink on both spots. So we'll do this one again. Start here at the apex, come down to the point. And we just repeat this throughout our whole tangle. Then Helen comes back, which is very cool, and she does some lines right in here. And you just echo out, and it just fills in that little tangle. So you can see it here that I filled in all those, and that's how you achieve that. Start from here and work your way in, out. <laughs> Sorry. Work your way out to the outside edge, kind of echoing that shape. And that's heartstrings. Well, my goal was to see how could I change that or embellish that. And I came back and I said, I could color this in and make them striped. I love the real deep contrast that it has compared to to this one. This one I can shade and it will turn out. But I found that if after I've striped it or done the echoing, to come back and stripe, I start on an outside edge. I like the outside edge dark, so I have a contrast wall on the very outside. And I fill in, leaving a little spot that can be a little sparkle. And it's kind of a jagged spot. So I color halfway, and then I come from the bottom. That helps me get that little jagged or looking light spot. So just about halfway, and come up from the bottom. Just doing every other stripe. 
Okay, and we just keep coloring. This time, we were lucky, and we had came out right on the end. So we had black, white, black, white, black, white, all the way over. Sometimes that doesn't happen. We'll do one more here. And I'm just randomly putting in my lines. We'll see if it doesn't happen. Okay, now I'm going to start on the outside edge, filling in. And again, I came out okay. If for some reason I don't come out even, I will just go ahead and add a another line or fill in that again. We'll try one more time to see if I'm going to be so lucky that I get even all the time. I'm going to start on the right and work my way to the left. I never do that. If you're left-handed, that is a good way to go, but because I don't like to put my hand over stuff I've already drawn. And again, we're turning out okay. I ended up... When I was practicing, I never... Before I film, I never ended up right. So there we have one more. We'll just do one more and see what happens. I would just make mine one wider. And there we have my variation of heart strings where we fill it in. And then you can do it just freehand on, um, I'm going to just take a little, a little tile and show you when I do it freehand. I would just make a heart and then make another heart attached to it and another heart to it. And then I will draw my line down the center. Then echo out, and then come back and fill in. So you don't need the three lines if you don't want them. You can just do it on a single line or freehand it. Those are the way I call embellishing a tangle to make it your own. I really, ah, oh, finally, one that has an, a white outside. So now I can make one more and add it to it. So that I don't end up with a white outside edge. I don't particularly like that. I want to have a solid or a black outside edge. Now, this one I could put some embellishments, maybe some bead line. And you can embellish that in lots of ways. Hope you enjoyed Heartstring by Helen Williams and my little variation, and have fun making valentines or heart tangles. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.